we have um, line MN is parallel to OP. Right? These two vertical lines mean they're parallel. And transversal K intersects both lines. So again, a transversal is just a line that cuts straight across other lines. And here, line MN, they say, is parallel to OP. So this transversal is cutting across two parallel lines. And they want to know two angles that are congruent or equal to angle 4. This says angle 4. I'll write that bigger. So here's angle 4. Well, according to vertical angles, angle 1 equals angle 4. So I choose angle 1. And also I could choose angle 8 because they're corresponding angles are in the same relative position at each intersection. I could also choose angle 5 because, well, if 4 equals 8, then 5 equals 8, and then 4 equals 5. They all equal each other. So I could choose any of those. And if I'm going to choose angle 1, I would describe what vertical angles are, which are two angles, right, that share a vertex, right, they're on opposite sides of two crossing lines, and they're equal. And 8, I could say they're, well, they're corresponding angles, they're in the same positions, they correspond to each other, so they've got to be equal. If I chose 5, I could say, well, 5 equals 8, and 8 equals 4, so by the transversal property, it's a fancy way of saying, um, if 5 equals 8, and 4 equals 8, then 5 equals 4. Or I could say um, 4 and 5 are what are, are known as alternate interior angles, alternate interior angles. So there are lots of choices here. Alright, hope that helped.